What is that sitting in my backyard? That's called a sukkah, and it's for the Feast of Tabernacles. It's starting tonight at sundown. So welcome to my sukkah. We have a lot of nice little decorations. We have our nice table set. We are going to be eating here for the next seven days. You'll notice it has very flimsy walls, and the roof is not a solid roof. A lot of the laws pertaining to this holiday have to do with the roof of this building. So let's talk about this. So what's it all about? Why do we come into this flimsy little hut for a whole week every single year? Well, you see, this is to commemorate how the Jewish people wandered for 40 years in the desert and God protected us. We were out in a boiling hot desert. We were at the mercy of the elements, but not really because God surrounded us with his clouds of glory. And those clouds of glory followed us. They traveled with us and they protected us from the heat and from the elements and from the wild animals. You see, the Jewish people, we went into the desert completely trusting in God. We said, God, we're here to serve you. And God took us into the desert. And no, we didn't know how we were going to be saved. Like how, how were we going to survive the harshness of the desert? But God had his plan and he protected us. That is the whole point of sitting in the sukkah. After this whole month of prayer and introspection and Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, these very holy days in which we told God, God, we dedicate ourselves to you. Now it's our chance to prove it physically. We go out into this flimsy little hut and we say, God, remember those days that we trusted in you completely. We went into a desert and we followed after you. We're doing it now too. We're here and we're going to this little hut. We're trusting in you. It's, it's a story of faith. It's a story of dedication. That's what it's all about. A few really beautiful thoughts on this is that we see over in Daniel chapter seven is the Messiah who is clearly labeled as a mortal, the son of man, which means he's a human being, is said to be coming on the clouds of heaven. What does that mean? That's the reinstitution of the clouds of glory. Ezekiel chapter 38, it tells us that at the end of days, the people of Gog are going to rise up against the Jewish people and they're going to battle against them. What does this mean? Have you ever heard of a country called Gog? No. So we have to stop and we say, what's the Hebrew word? Gog means a roof. Now, as we said, this holiday deals a lot with the laws of a roof. Our roof has to be flimsy. We have to be able to see the sky through it. Why? Because we're trusting in God. Whereas at the end of days, the roof people are going to rise up against the children of Israel. Whoa, what's going on here? Very simple. The people who are not trusting in God, who trust in their own strength and their own might, those are going to be people who are going to battle against the Jewish people in the end times. And in those times, there are going to be many righteous Jews and Gentiles who are going to say, hey, we're not interested in being these Gog people. We're not interested in being the people who are believing in our own strength and we're rebelling against god no we want to align ourselves with the god of israel jews and gentiles alike who choose to attach themselves to the god of israel will continue and in the messianic age in zechariah 14 it says that all of the nations are going to be celebrating the feast of tabernacles this holiday of sukkahs and like isaiah says that you know all the nations of the world are going to stream up to the holy mountain to the holy temple and the temple will be called a place of prayer for all peoples that's what sickness is all about it's about our being enwrapped in god's love being protected by him and our trusting in him that he is our only hope our only salvation we're not looking anywhere else we're not looking to new theologies we're not looking to new religions we're not looking to later iterations only the god of israel of whom there is no other so i'm wishing you all a wonderful week it's going to be a beautiful holiday this holiday happens to be my favorite and yeah have a wonderful time. Happy Sukkot, everybody. I hope that you will be one of the people who will join Klal Yisrael, the nation of Israel, in celebrating the Feast of Tabernacles at the end of days. I hope that you will dedicate yourself to the God of Israel.